Hey guys, how are you doing? It's Simon from BizLearn. Hi and welcome to a new tutorial on my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be doing a kind of crossover between the NX 1926 Watts New and Class A Surface modeling. Maybe some of you remember my magic mouse. I did a full tutorial series concerning the creation of this Class A Surface, etc, etc. All the commands which you can see here and also the import of raster images was described within one of my tutorial series which i'm now going to link on the upper right of this video and i'm really happy about the enhanced x form command because it suits perfect this part is symmetric in two directions and concerning symmetrically pole modifications we have an enhancement with an x form and i'm going to show you but i'm also going to modify my mouse a little bit so what i got to do I got to do the modification, X4 modification on a new extract. And therefore, I'm going to copy and paste this one and move it before my trims. So, what you see here, just as an explanation for those who forgot or haven't seen the video, I've created a block containing the overall dimensions of my mouse. I first of all trimmed this block because it's symmetric in X and Y and created an extract. I've used the XForm command and section to create the outline, etc, etc. And so you can see symmetrically modifications were not possible the way they are now. So I've created one quarter and afterwards created a mirror geometry to combine all of my geometries, which was, well, not that hard but it's not the end of the world working like this but there's something i don't like if i switch to shaded mode you can see i've got the knots in here and this is something i always want to avoid when creating class a surfaces and if it's not necessary to have knots this is something i'm going to avoid and since nx 1926 if you are using x form it is no more necessary so you can create the overall shape within one step or further steps as you will see in a few minutes. So I've created my copy of my extract and moved this before my trim body to give me the ability to work on the overall surface. As you can see, it's still plain. But what I'm gonna do before I start XForm, I'm gonna give my layout a little bit more fanciness. So I'm gonna use the new theme below preferences user interface and it's called dark. I want to have a dark background as well and therefore I'm going to use an option which was available in the past already. It's called background color drop down. Now it's time to start XForm. You can see the surface tab is already open and here is my XForm. I'm just going to reset this one and select my planner surface. You can say it's one degree and one patch which is pretty normal and I'm going to increase my degree to three in U and V and think about a symmetrical modification. Yes, it was possible somehow in the past. If you select, for example, the upper direction, the Z direction, you can, of course, by use of control, select further polylines and move them. But if I want to move this one to my left or right, or even this one, you won't be able to, to have a symmetrical movement. But now we have a possibility called edit symmetrically. And of course you have to select a plane therefore, which I'm going to show now from my datum coordinate system, which is exactly in center. And I'm going to pick this one. And now it is possible to move your poles upwards symmetrically or sidewards like this symmetrically. But what I need to proceed is, and therefore I'm going to use Control and W to open show and hide. I need my raster images for comparison reasons. I'm going to close this and I'm going to just orientate. And well, maybe you did see the new absolute scissors, which is here. You can use this block as well. But in my case, I'm still preferring snap view because it's directly on the mouse and there is no movement required so you can work the old way as you did before as well. This is something common from Inventor and other CAD systems to select sides of the block but it's not required. However, let's proceed. You can see the dark background isn't perfect always. It's low contrast here so the outline of my surface isn't really visible. And that's the reason why I prefer having this drop down to switch 
easily and switch back afterwards however as you prefer it i'm gonna move this poly line so i'm gonna use my rectangle to make sure to have all the poles selected and move it downwards and i'm gonna move this upwards just approximately and to the left as well Symmetrical movements. I could end the video now and show you something else, however. But of course, I want to show you something which I don't like about this option. It's not the end of the world. If I switch my plane now, all the movements are going to be cancelled. So it is not possible to switch within the workflow. So what I have to do is hit OK once and access the xform command again and now you can see that the symmetry plane is deselected and that's pretty normal that's pretty okay the xform is associated to the surface but all the settings are not associative so you can see the degree and patches are still there but they are inherited from the surface so it's not really stored within the command i have to do a symmetrical movement again And well, I'm, I'm pretty satisfied with this. What I forgot to do is to enable the analysis, of course. So that's what you always can do and what I recommend you to do within your modifications, for example, face curvature. And the cool thing now is that you get a direct preview during your modification of your face curvature, which is pretty cool. Well, I'm just gonna do it for demonstrations like this and cancel because I'm satisfied and I don't want to exceed this video time. Maybe you're interested now in how to replace the surfaces. I have one extract here and another one here and it's not that simple because this one still is a quarter. How can you replace them? So what I'm gonna do, I have a, a single surface now and I'm gonna use my trim bodies to trim the surface as well. So what you gotta do is just to select the surface as well next to your solid like this and I'm also going to select it here you can see our surface is trimmed now and now I'm going to replace them first of all what I got to do is the X form here is no more required of this extract it's not required anymore but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to delete this one and select the extract and select my new X form instead. So I transferred the modification of my new extract to my old extract. And it's a 100% copy, so everything is replaced now. And if I go down to my latest timestamp, you can see it works pretty well. I just have to hide this. And I'm gonna switch to shaded with edges and what you see here is maybe you remember the first situation where we had knots there is no more a knot so even if you trim the overall surface and if you unite it afterwards the system will recognize there is one kind of polynom function used and there is no interruption within the polynom and you can also show knots related to the surface and there won't be any knots displayed so this is something i would always make sure so i'm going to show knots and you you can't see any knots so that's pretty cool and this is something you always have to figure out and think about you can trim it if it's symmetrical and if you unite it afterwards or sew it however it will be one surface without more than one segment pretty cool i like the enhancement i don't like the fact that we have to apply in between our modification just to switch the symmetry plane maybe there is another workaround but i haven't figured out yet however but anyway i'm pretty satisfied because i'm using x form a lot on, on my designs and i have a few symmetric designs however that's it for today what do you think about this enhancement i am really looking forward to your comments below this video and if you like the video give it a like if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet i recommend you to do because i'm going to be uploading tons of videos in the future not just about what's new nx 1926 but i'm also going to be talking about things which can be used before and which can be used in a different manner than you might have used it before because my channel is about nx cat secrets about nx methods horizontal modeling have a nice day goodbye